Hello and welcome back to the Maya Hand Rigging Tutorial. In this episode we're going to begin animating the hand that we created in the previous two episodes. To begin with, uh, let us start by creating a brand new file that we're going to use to hold all our animation data. So I'm going to click on this button here to create a new file and then I'm going to reference in the model that we uh, created and rigged in the previous episode. So I'm going to go to File, Create, Reference, and I'm going to select on the Hand Animation Reference. And that just pulled it in. That's This is kind of like importing it, except it does not create a copy with the import. It actually references the animation as it exists in the old Maya file. So I'm going to press uh, number 6 so we can see our skin nice and clearly there. And if you look at the uh, reference editor, you can see that uh, there is the name of the file that we just referenced in, just uh, showing that to you here. Now if you take a look at our, hy our uh, hypergraph, you can see all those node names are here in red. That just indicates that these are not existing in the current file, these are pulled in from another file and still exist there. Now the reason why you might want to do this is to allow you to keep the model and the animation in two separate files. Uh, very often the person who's doing the modeling is different from the person who's doing the rigging. It, I mean is different from the person who's doing the animation. And by having two separate files you can be confident the animator will never accidentally change something in the model that will uh, that the modeler doesn't know about. By keeping things nice and separate, you can uh, reduce the number of uh, reduce the number of variables you have to think about when you're going through an animation. Okay, we've uh, referenced in our model. The next thing we want to do is create a character set. A character set is a way of organizing all of the attributes that we care about for a particular character and prepare us for animating it uh, in Maya tracks, which we'll be getting to soon. To start off with, uh, let's prepare making that character set. Now you see here we have uh, the... actually let's uh, turn off those objects. Now I'm just doing that to so that uh, we do not accidentally select things other than NURBS curves. Right now it's only possible to select NURBS curves. Now, since the last uh, couple of episodes, I added in this new uh, control for the thumb. It only has uh, rotate attributes on it, so it allows us to um, rotate the thumb like that. It works exactly the same way as the wrist control that we uh, that I showed you how to set up. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select all of our all of our curves and we're going to go to character create character set click on there we're going to create a new character called hand uh, just a nice obvious name that rep that uh, describes our character which is a hand so I'm going to click on create character set and if you look down here you see that uh, the hand character has shown up in our character set menu and also, if you look in the channel box, you'll see that everything's turned yellow. Uh, this means that rather than these controls being driven being driven by the Maya timeline, they're now being driven by the character set. So if we uh, click on the wrist control, you can see the wrist is being driven by the um, character set. And so are all the attributes that we added to the, uh, to the root control here. So... Um, that is how you reference in a model and create a character set. Uh, come back next time when we create some animations for this hand using tracks.